I'm showing you how to make a game in Roblox in today's video. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And once you've done that, go and leave a like as well. Now, I know a lot of these videos are really long. I wanted to make a, a bit more of a condensed one, showing you sort of different types of games. Now, this is more using an alternate method I've actually found, which works just as well to get you to understand the basics. And I'll probably make a more advanced one in the future. So let's jump straight into this. So what I usually do is come up here and then simply change this to slash create, just like so, and press enter. Now, as you can see, we've got a few options here. You can click start creating or you can click manage my games. Now, personally, I personally use start creating. So hit start creating. And as you can see, you're going to get this pop up. If you haven't already got Roblox Studio before, you're going to have to download it. It's really easy. And uh, just click open Roblox. I'll, I'll let that allow to happen before. Open Roblox. And it's now updating it. And boom, it should open up any minute. As you can see, uh, I'll have to resize this. But now we're here. Now, as you can see, we're actually in a template section. But do not click off just because you know this, because I'm showing you how to edit them, how to publish them, and a ton more interesting stuff which you need to know. Now, you can base games off these templates and then go and share them on Roblox and earn Roblox from them. Um, you can just get you know viewers on them and players, and it's really simple. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to edit these and customize them um, to create your own game. So I'm gonna start with Obby, but you can choose whatever type of template you would like, depending on what type of game you'd like to create so let's go and start with obby click obby just like so and as you can see it's loading up it'll take a minute and i'll go over the basic controls now this looks kind of confusing but basically the main thing you need to know is you hold your right click on your computer to move around like this so you can spin around um, and see what's happening and then you move your mouse um, it's really simple and if it glitches a bit sorry about that my mouse is really laggy because it's wireless but anyway then you can click a move as well and uh, you can move around. Now to move around you use W, A, S and D just like this. So it's sort of like the actual game if you're on computer. And as you can see we've got all these options here. Now you're probably thinking oh this is a really basic obby. Well this is where it's really really cool because you literally can go and customise this. And I want to show you how. So let's start with the start button I guess. So this is where the, your, the user is going to come and spawn in. So all you want to do is click on it. And uh, we then get all these options here. Now as you can see we've got the properties. This is the start spawn here. And uh, we've got all this stuff we can change um, depending on what you want to do. So for example, you can scroll down and change this material, click here, and then you can click here again. And you can literally change the what this looks like to any of these. So if you want it to be pebble themed, as you can see, uh, I'll move up a bit. And uh, you can see it's um, pebble themed. So that's really cool. And uh, you can literally change it to anything. So you could even do like grass. Uh, if we come to the top, I think grass is here. Oh, we've got grass here. There you go. So you could have like a grass themed here, but for this, as an example, I want to show you how to make it rainbow. Um, so I'm going to change this back to what would I think will look best? I think like smooth plastic. Perfect. And then I might change this to maybe like a yellow um, just to get it sort of um, to make it look really cool. And then we've got all these sort of different sort of obby features here. So if you want to change the direction of them, what you want to do is click on this and then you can make sure it's already selected on move. And then you can literally drag these arrows and you know move them apart. So you could make this a bit more like tricky. So move these apart like that. But just remember, um, it still has to be possible. So to test if something's possible, then what you want to do is go and click on play here. And it's going to essentially quickly render you in. So it'll take a minute depending on your computer and stuff. Um, as you can see, it's loading. And now we're just testing this out. So this is exactly what I literally just did a couple seconds ago. Um, and yeah, it's possible. Then you click stop and it's going to take you back here. So let's go and move these around a bit just to make it a bit more difficult. And uh, yeah, so I'm just currently using the keys to move around. So like I said before, you come up to home and then you click move. And then you get the arrows and you can sort of slowly uh, move these around uh, just so they look a bit um, sort of just to look makes it the challenge a bit harder and then you can go and change the color of these so you click there and then you go down to brick color and uh, you could change that to say green and we could do this one to blue you get the idea um, you can just edit it so so easily mainly using this property so all you want to do is to say click it and then you can change it um, the color but as you can see this one is um, this spawn point has been made up of multiple little squares so to deal with that what you want to do is you have to click each one and then change the color but yeah it doesn't take too long and if you want to use one of these conveyors somewhere else and all you want to do is simply click on it then do Control c which is copy Control v which is paste and then we can get this here and then we can move it somewhere else in the map so so as you can see i've now gone and put a conveyor in so yeah it's really that simple now let's quickly test this out and then we'll try another one so we'll just wait for it to render in so as you can see here are the effects i started doing sort of the rainbow pattern and then here is the conveyor brick i did as well so as you can see if you jump on it it then pushes you off and then to go and publish it to do that all you want to do is click on publish just here 
and as you can see you then need to name it you can change this information on the roblox dashboard in the website so i'm just going to name this as um tutorial obby all one word just like so and then i'll copy and paste that and put it in here then i'll just add join now here and then you can choose these devices here as well that's more personal preference but yeah then you go and click create it took a minute to load as you can see um, and it's now been successfully published now you can go and change this more in the dashboard and we'll go and do that now so you can simply now click off this by clicking x because it's been published um, as you can see we're now back on roblox now like i said before you can use literally any of those templates i just wanted to give you a rough idea of how to do it and then you want to come back up to create and we're on slash develop and now we've got our tutorial obby now if you want to make any more changes you can go and click edit and it's going to open up roblox studio again um, but personally i've gone and edited it to what i want it to be so then another way to go and change the name and picture and stuff like that you click on the cog here and then you've got all of these options here so as you can see configure game configure um, start place loads of awesome stuff i'll click configure game and now it's loading as you can see i can change the name so um, to anything I want and then you can make it public for example I'm gonna click save so now it's public avatar settings and you can change all of this stuff so it's really really simple you can you know do game updates so many cool stuff like that and then to go and actually play it I'm gonna go and show you how to do that so then to go and play it come back to your develop page and then all you want to do is simply click start place tutorial obby and now it's taking you to the page now then to go and play it of course you simply press on the green play button and it's now loading so we'll continue wait for this it's starting it up and as you can see we're now in our game now i'll quickly want to add you could spend way more time on this than i did i literally did this in about five minutes or so um you could spend way more time on it and create so much awesome stuff using this and you know color all of this and add loads of more conveyor belts and other traps like this and it's all really possible but yeah i thought i'd go and have a quick go at it now uh just to see how if it's actually possible and how fun it is so yeah, there are other, like I said before, you know, there's so much more stuff you can add and uh, the possibilities are endless. I could have made this, um, this sort of, I guess, what's it, the, the game longer, um, you'll be longer. Um, like, there's so much, you know, you can add to it. I hope that was close. And uh, yeah, I could have copied more of these and just extend this a ton and then gone and published it. But I just had to make this kind of short for the tutorial. But if you want to see more games as well, then I'm happy to do that or even another obby video. Um, it'd be cool to make so yeah possibly that's gonna be coming soon and I failed uh, but there are respawn points as you can see there um, so press R and it respawns oh no it takes me back to the start great um, my computer's being slow here we go we're back right let's try and complete this um, but yeah guys I really hope you did find this useful as well um, and that you can create a cool game and tell me if you did create any cool games as well and can I finish this off no what a fail but yeah thank you very much for watching if you found this useful, please go down below and hit the subscribe button and I look forward to catching you in the next video. Peace.